Jamie and the kids mean everything to me. There's no walking out on this for once in your life. You gotta see something through. What the fuck does that mean? I'm gonna be honest with you, Mitch. Because there's a lot on the line here. You're a quitter. But quitting is not an option on this one, okay? You focus, you find it. I don't care where, but you find it inside of yourself, okay? I know it's there. It's not like I'm not trying. I, I just, I don't know how to do all your grown-up crap. You're gonna learn. This is called a suit. You wear one every day, along with a necktie, black, not white socks, dress shoes, not shower sandals. Please. Of course, These underwear. Are awful. Oh, come on. No, 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 no more commando. Mitch, you're a grown ass man. Put them on. This is called a schedule. It tells you everything you need to do each day pickups, drop offs, activities, play dates, doctor's appointments, etc. You'll notice that there are approximately 50 hours worth of obligations on any given day. Make it work. This is called a grocery store. People buy food here. It's part of your responsibilities. Before heading to the market, always call Jamie and ask her if she needs anything first. In fact, before making any decision in your life, no matter how small, call your wife first. Think of yourself as a brain-damaged mule, lost in the desert, helpless, dumb, and in constant need of direction. Never take the initiative, never strike out on your own, and never deviate from the plan. Why? Because you're a brain-damaged mule, and you are lost in the damn desert. These are called children, or dependents. Never disparage your own child. Everything they do is a miracle from God. When they're bad, it's only because they're tired or going through a phase. When other kids are bad, it's because of indulgent parenting or innate defects in the child's character. Be 15 minutes early for everything. It doesn't matter what it is. A meeting, an event. Less stress for me, less stress for you, less stress for... Hey, you're married now, jackass. You can't look at other women. You can't talk to other women. You can't even be interesting around other women. Do everything in your power to desexualize yourself. Wear a fanny pack. Drive a Prius. Attach electronic devices to your belt, whatever it takes. And if you find yourself forced to talk to a woman, quickly find some way to mention the fact that you're married. It doesn't even have to make sense. Hi, how are you? Nice weather today. He's totally fucking married. So I, I can't sleep with my wife. I can't sleep with other women. What the hell's that? Marriage. 